Our other top story this evening, two teens and their grandparents facing charges after Palmyra police say the teens caused thousands of dollars in damage to property. Our hands are really are kind of tied with the juvenile complaints. It's like, you know, even if we make arrests, they go to probation. A lot of times are released on appearance tickets. Now, police say they've seen an increase in property crimes and graffiti in the town and at the hands of young people. Good evening to you. I'm Matt Malloy. 13 Wham Stephanie Joseph spoke with one grandmother and police about the recent arrest. Steph, good evening. Good evening there, Matt. Now, those grandparents have since been released. One grandmother, Janet Heaven, tells me her arrest is horrible and embarrassing. The grandparents of two teens in Palmyra are facing charges of endangering the welfare of a child. It's difficult to raise children at a younger age, especially in an elderly age. Like, I feel for the grandparents, but if, I mean, we, if they're not going to accept services and they're not going to follow through, and if you can't control your kids, we have to find other options. The grandmother of one teen, Janet Heaven, did not want to speak on camera, but said she was recovering from a stroke days before her arrest. She doesn't condone the behavior of her granddaughter, but says she's done nothing wrong. The teens are accused of vandalizing buildings with graffiti and are charged with criminal mischief and trespassing. And police say this wasn't just one incident. We have over cases, oh, I think over 30 cases since the beginning of the year involving these two juveniles. Chief Donardo says they are part of a larger group of young people vandalizing property. Since the beginning of the year, we've seen about a 200% increase in property crimes, including criminal mischiefs, criminal trespasses, um, entering uh, dwellings that they uh, and causing damage, as well as like the graffiti has gotten really bad. Our DPW is out there every day cleaning up these street signs. And a lot of times they have to come in after hours to clean them up because it's you know racist or hate speech that we can't leave later on. Police are asking all parents to reach out to them if their children are breaking the law. We understand it's hard to keep your parents, your kids under control, but if you don't, give us a call. Like, we, we can help, you know, and we have resources that we can reach out to. Now, both teens were referred to probation. We reached out to the other grandmother charged, Wanda Milner. We have not heard back. Matt?